The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. I have to bring on a special guest here. Um, I uh, want to thank him. I want to bring on a guest here. Uh, it's Eric Rush. Uh, if you don't know, ericrush.com. He has a radio show also. And he gave me the opportunity. I did a live broadcast standing in front of the Capitol building with him. And uh, I want to thank Marcus Trowbridge for putting us in touch. Eric, Eric, are you there, Eric? Yes, I am. Hi. Thank you, Eric. Thanks for joining the show. Thank you. My pleasure. Eric, a quick recap. Beginning of the show, we had um, Commander Charles Kirshner, retired, who released the uh, ad today in the Washington Times, page five, the full page ad. Are you aware of it? Um, yes, I am. I am very much aware of it. Um, I have seen it. Um, uh, uh, the commander is a, uh, a good friend. We, we met a couple of years ago in D.C. at uh, the Family Values Summit, so I've been keeping on top of what he's been doing for quite a while. Great. And we also have right now speaking is a Doug Vogt. Are you familiar with him and his work? Yes, I am. I've been uh, – I've been tuned in and uh, following it very closely, particularly over the last several weeks. Hi, Doug. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I am well. Thank you very much. And, and we also, yeah. we're also simulcasting tonight on the Wiley Drake Show. That's the Wiley Drake. We are simulcasting on his show. Eric, the commander, went through the painstaking procedure of putting that ad in the paper. He has my back 100%. He has my people's back 100%. Eric, the ad is out. We're not taking it anymore. We're going to do what we have to do to bring the truth out, Eric. Well, it, it is my, uh, you know, it's one of the, one of the uh, things that I bring up on my radio show quite often, um, the, the eligibility issue. I mean, I even have a little you know, a PSA sort of a thing that I do where I'm, I direct people to uh, information to, to learn about these things and that, uh, you know, the elig eligibility issue really ought, uh, ought not go away. It's, uh, you know, they, they stigmatize it with this, this birther label, which is, which is, you know, typical leftist stuff, and it's kind of silly because, um, you know, as, as you were saying before, you know what is a birther? I mean, you're you're not a birther if you're if you're concerned about the eligibility issue. You're not necessarily necessarily saying who he was or where he was born. The fact of the matter is that none of us know for sure, and that in and of itself is extremely troublesome. Yes, and exactly. And I think that came from at the beginning when Obama popped up like Jack in the Box. There was a lot of talk about Kenya. Michelle Obama, Kenya Roots, Kenya this. Uh, I think that he overstepped it and said, oh, at one point he went, oh, what did I do? Now I'm running for president. How do I get rid of that Kenyan stuff? But we don't know. We just don't know. And like I said earlier, we are not birthers. We're truth seekers. We want our country back. And, Eric, we're taking our country back. Eric, do you want to ask Doug any questions? I don't know how long you can stay on. I did tell Doug that you had very limited time. So if you have a yeah. question or two, or if you want to address my audience, be, be my guest, Eric. Um, well, I do have a, just, a, just a very brief time. Uh, I didn't really have any questions, but, you know, I, I would just like to say to, your, to the audience that I am more encouraged about the developments that have been made over the last several weeks, uh, partly, I, and I know that, you know, you've got something to do with that. I know Doug got something to do with that. The commander, I know, has been working tirelessly for years on this. And, you know, people, I think people really need to know that we're making progress in that folks are starting to wake up. You know, so a lot of the people that we've been saying for years, when are people going to wake up? When are they going to wake up? They're starting to. And a lot of them aren't quite sure what they're waking up to yet. But they're starting to look at this stuff that you're talking about tonight a whole lot more critically than they were looking at it, um, a, you know, a week ago, six months ago, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. 
so we're definitely making progress at, at getting to the truth on these things. You know, Eric, I'm going to tell you, when we went to D.C., and I thank you for that live interview in front of the Capitol, I was actually looking up at the Capitol speaking to you. I was in an office giving a presentation to the chief of staff. The back door to the office opened up. The congressman stuck, stood outside, stepped outside, and he looked at me and he said, Mr. Bowen, he said, we know about this. And I said, excuse me, sir? He said, we've known about this, and we're working on it. I'm not going to reveal his name. And I said, yeah, excuse me, sir. I said, excuse me, Congressman, how did you know about it? You know what he said? He said, I got one of your staff kits from someone that you mailed it to. It's in an envelope just like the one you're holding in your hand. And I said, thank you very much. I mean, it was a great relief just to know that one Congressman knew exactly who we are, and we snapped pictures and everything. I saw awesome. the pictures. I haven't released all of the names yet on my website or in the pictures. I'm holding back of a few key people, actually a lot of people on my website, and we're not giving out all the names right now. But that moment right there, I know we're making a difference. And with Commander Kirshner putting his foot down and taking his stand, that last page ad about John Boehner, everybody's now mailing kits to Boehner. He probably has a whole bunch of kits he doesn't know what to do with. We're holding their feet to the fire. We want an investigation. We make no claims. We're just saying, take a look at this evidence. It is a forged document. And I'm going to say it again. But I'm going to say it again so the chat room can hear me loud and clear. I have a, a lot large audience in the chat room. I'm not a birther. I've never said where he was born. I'm saying that the documents on the White House website and the selective service stamp are forged. I'm not a birther. So if you put Bertha in the chat room again, uh, we're going to have to kick you out. Okay, Eric, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not a birther either. I mean, I've never considered myself as such, although, you know, I they call me a whole lot of things, and it doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. But uh, the, the, the birth, you know, the birth certificate being a forgery, you know, that is not in dispute. And that's one of the things we definitely have to get across. And I know that we're being successful with it. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a background in computer graphics. Not, you know, I'm not a genius or a guru by any means. I knew 20 minutes after I downloaded that birth certificate that it was fake. So, I mean, if you put it in front of, like, seasoned professionals, obviously they're going to know very shortly that it's a fake and that, um, and that you know, and they can tell you exactly how. And I know what they've seen. And so the, the fact of the matter is, you know, who cares uh, whether he, I mean, we could, we could discover that he was born in, you know, um, U.S. Apple Pie Hospital, fact of the matter is he still has a fake birth certificate, and we need an explanation for it. Not only that, Eric, don't forget we have a selective service there. We have other That's things right. that don't add up, that don't make one, I mean, and yeah. one does not make two. A past, a shady, very, very shady past, four different aliases. He went to Indonesia, then he came back, then he went to wherever it was, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Bananistan, and then he came back with a different name. Who is this guy? How many names can you have? The press never did it. Obviously not. We, yeah. never, we, we just don't know. Yeah. Well, as, as our friend and colleague Martha Trowbridge is fond of saying, it's, it's synthetic. His identity is synthetic. His past is synthetic. It's all made up. It's made up to fit a narrative that people would accept, but it's all fake, and it obviously is. And that's part of what we need to get to the bottom of, in addition to the, the certificate because, and the selective service. It's because he's just a front man anyway. He's like an empty suit. Yeah. Uh, people put him up. But he's not very smart. I, you know, if he's not on script or in front of a teleprompter, he makes mistakes all the time. That's right. And, uh, yeah, a, and um he can't control his mouth. The, the, the one of the main problems with him is he's a he's a malignant narcissist. Um, I right. have two recordings on on my website, uh, Obama Forgery Book. On the left hand side, where it says video and, and audio, the bottom two are from a, one of the foremost experts on narcissism. Uh, everybody should download it and read it and listen to him. Uh, they and you'll understand how sick this guy really is. 
So, yep. I mean, that's why, but it's his whole past is one big lie. It, yeah, it, it absolutely is. They, they manufactured it and because, but we should all worry about who's really controlling him. It's obvious that, that uh, Valerie Jarrett is his brains, but we don't know where she's getting the orders from or where she's getting suggestions and to do what. Uh, I mean, that's that's the issue. We don't know who these people really are. All we know is they are left-wing Marxists of socialism and uh, of various flavors, admittedly. Yeah, that's right. So, and, yeah. and 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 as a you know, as a uh, an American of of color, if you will, I you know I'm here to say that I'm going to be damned if I see my country go down the toilet for the sake of the legacy, the fake legacy of our so, for, quote unquote first black president. I'm sorry, but um, it's just too important. You know, we can't let this stand. It's like this, don't feel bad about it. He's not an American. <laughs> He's not at all. <laughs> so don't worry about it. He's not a, an American, Afro-American. He's a Kenyan, period. Do something we don't know there, Doug? You, are you making a special they, announcement? Well, not really. It's been out that one, the Kenyan Parliament has um, like their congressional record, and even the the, the uh, Interior Minister and one other minister both had speeches in their Parliament saying, admitting he's he was born in Kenya. They both said it is their official congressional record in Kenya. We, we saw so all that. I, I captured all of those websites. I have them on my blog. If you go to where's Obama's birth certificate dot com I have it also. slash blog, go way, 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 way back in the archives, and I have them. I have all of the the the, screen, the actual article, and then the screenshot capture, and then the redacted version after Obama got elected. Um, but we still don't know. I mean, we still don't know if that's where he was born, and that's not what we're saying. We're here because there's a White House. Uh, he, he did admit it, but, but he did admit it twice. Once to the publisher for his book, he, he's the one that. who filled out that information. We all we've all seen it. And the other one is there's a video when he went back as a senator, and he was helping his relative run for office, the communist, and yeah. uh, and he says it. Uh, I'm so happy to be back home. And so he he knows where he was born. It's just that he's a Pathological liar. That's the I'm getting problem. Fast People, I, you know, that, I'm that's getting the problem. Because I'm getting a lot of feedback, and that's just motivating me. What you're referring to is Acton and Dystal, the, the publishing company. Obama yeah. was writing a book, and they promote the books. They were promoted House Speaker Tip O'Neill. They got his information right, but Obama, yeah. it says born in Kenya. I'm not saying he was born in Kenya. Let's clear that up. But it says born in Kenya, and up till 2007, from 1991, it was never changed. And coincidentally, when all of a sudden they had to push Obama in 2007, it became, we made a mistake. Wow, what a mistake to make. Why not put Germany? Why not put South Carolina? Why not put Miami, Florida? You just happened to put Kenya. Where did you pull Kenya out? I mean, where did you go with Darla the map? Jerome Corsi also said, the publisher sends you a form and you fill it out. And I've seen these things, too, and how to fill them out also. So it's it's a question of he filled it out. He was telling the truth at the time when he filled that thing out. Then he had to change a scenario. It's as simple as that. And he had to lie again. And the media is the real issue. They don't call him on it because they're part of this thing. And you know, if the American media figure out why they're lying and why they cover up for him, that's the the only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.